Hey everyone, welcome to another Monday morning starter! <laughs> Jackson isn't here today, so I'm just recording me. Uh, look at today, it's so nice. Not many waves, but it's pretty nice. Might have to try and find a little wave somewhere later today. Maybe up the coast a little bit, but it's pretty flat. All right, today I, I want to talk to you about starting small and finishing big. Now there's so many, so many people that I see, like I was talking to someone a couple of days ago and they're just a bit like, oh, you know, I don't know how to create better things in my life and I want to change my life, but I don't know where to start. Um, you know, it, it's not about the big, let's do this all of a sudden now and just pull everything apart and and be something different all of a sudden. It's about starting small. Here's an example. So I deal with a doctor, he's a specialist. And you know, great job, he would get paid, I don't know, half a mil to a mil a year, something like that. And he's becoming a developer. But he's still, I, I call it doctoring, he's still doctoring and doing his thing and bit by bit, He's slowly doing one development site, another development site, two development sites, slowly and surely. But he's delivering a product that's architectural, that's beautiful, that's something like, you know, different. different. It's his passion. But slowly and surely he's doing that. He's starting small. He's going to finish big. I can see it. And slowly, eventually, he'll stop being a doctor and hopefully become a what he wants to do. It, it, it's his passion now. He's just following it. But it's starting small. You know, if you've got a weight problem, you know, if, you're, if you really want to lose weight, you don't have to change your diet all of a sudden. You're not going to sustain it anyway. You don't have to all of a sudden just start eating nuts and hardly anything else and lose weight. It's starting small. It's just tweaking what you do every day. If you were a pilot and you had to fly to Hawaii, and you got in your plane, you'd have your navigation system set to Hawaii and you'd it'd take however many hours, I don't know, 20 hours or something, <laughs> not sure. But if your navigation system was off by 1%, just of one degree, not percent, one degree, and you relied on that navigation system, and if you took off from Sydney, just by being off by one degree, you would end up hundreds of miles off course. You wouldn't even end up in Hawaii. Just by one degree, bit by bit by bit by bit. So where you want to go is really determined by what you do today, right now. And move yourself a bit, a bit, a bit. It's like that doctor. He's not doing, he's not leaving being a doctor, then all of a sudden just saying, oh, I'm a developer now and off I go and I'll buy all these sites and hope it all works out. No, he's doing his, what he's good at now and then he's slowly bringing into his world being a developer, one side at a time, one side at a time. And that's why you just gotta put time aside and make the choices that are one degree closer to where you wanna go, day after day after day after day. So that might be increasing your wealth you might stop buying lunch every day and save that bit of money, bit by bit by bit by bit. Make your lunch instead of buying it. You might not go to the movies. You might not go out and drink on Saturday night and save that bit of money, bit by bit by bit by bit. Starting small and finishing big. If you do that and slowly bring something else into your life, something else in your life, something else in your life that's gonna move you in that direction, over time, give it a year, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four, 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 one, two, three, four, five, six, over 10 years, more, whatever, doesn't matter about the time, but it's making that one choice to continually start small, start small, continue small, continue small, you will finish big. So if that's your weight, it might be just eating a smaller meal at night and no dessert. That might just be starting small. Slowly, bit by bit, by bit, by bit. If it's your health, like at the moment I'm doing yoga, 
I've only just started yoga and I've made a decision I want to become an, a yoga expert so I'm stopping going to the gym I have limited time in my day I'm super like when the day starts it almost just goes and it's you know it's like whoa and I can't fit much more else in but I'm doing yoga twice a day morning and night it means I've got to get up earlier and I've got to do it even when I don't feel like it at night so when I get home at night uh, instead of watching telly or something like that I'll do yoga even just for 15 minutes I, I watch a girl called Boho Beautiful and she's on YouTube she's awesome so um, anyway she's teaching me how to become a yoga expert and that's the commitment that I've made I want a great chiseled body not so much like oh look at my abs or anything like that it's just I want a body that's flexible and looks great it means I've got to eat really well all of that sort of stuff so what's your health how do you start small and finish big I'm 44 now so you know over the next few years I want my body to be amazing better than it's ever been and that's through yoga but I've actually got to do it start small finish big two times 15 minutes each day each time and that'll probably increase and increase and increase so with your health what could you do to start small finish big with your career what could you do to start small finish big if you want to and you don't even have to change like that doctor you don't have to change what you're doing you might be doing something that you really like right now but how do you change it bit by bit that one degree every day how do you how do you learn how to do it a bit better do a bit more increase it a bit more to become even greater at what you do because greatness is waiting there for you it's waiting there for all of us we're actually wired for greatness so how do you do that little bit more to become the best in your field to become the wealthiest you, you can be to become the healthiest you, you can be to become the most successful person around you how do you do that and the way you do it is you start small and finish big but it starts with a decision and a commitment unless you have a commitment that's going to carry you through you're going to give up along the way you're going to let other things become more attractive and stop doing it because the people that become most successful are the ones that stay most committed that's all it is they have a passion around creating success around in what they do and anyone can do that. Anybody can do that. You just got to stay in your lane. You got to stay doing what you do and make sure it's the thing that you really want to do. Because when your why is big enough, your actions will follow. When your why is big enough, your passion will stay. When your why is big enough, you'll be totally committed and you won't give up. That's the only difference. So, so guys, let's get into this week. It's an amazing day. There's no reason. No, we got no excuses. We, we have the perfect opportunity. Let's get into this week and I want to ask you, are you doing what you want to do? If you're not, you got to start small, finish big. If you're doing what you want to do, how do you tweak your navigation system so you're one degree closer every day to where you want to go? Because if you do that, you will definitely, definitely end up, end up somewhere that people will call greatness. Let's start small and finish big. It's waiting there for us. No excuses, throw them out the window. Total commitment. Let's get to it. It's all waiting there. Look forward, see you on the next video.